Dogs are our very best friends, and we all know how awesome they are. Some dogs, though, have developed a bad reputation, usually pretty unfairly. In fact, most of the time, those bad dogs are only bad because of the way people have treated them, but that didn't stop governments all over the world from banning them. From the giant pooch of the Far East to the super muscular Spanish doggo, here's the 20 most banned dog breeds in the world. <sighs> Number 20. The Tibetan Mastiff With his massive towering frame, flowing mane, and watchful gaze, the Tibetan Mastiff is as magnificent and vigilant as a lion. Since ancient times, the Tibetan Mastiff has served as an imposing and threatening estate guardian in Tibet. Even in modern times, the breed still exhibits strong protective instincts, watching over his home and family with unyielding steadfastness. In fact, for people who are inexperienced with guardian breeds or new to dog ownership, the Tibetan Mastiff is not advised. In the right hands, the Tibetan Mastiff provides unparalleled devotion, love, and protection to its family but it also needs careful handling. Even with intensive socialization, the Tibetan Mastiff could be challenging to train and maintain, which is a requirement with this breed. Some Tibetan Mastiffs may not always pay attention when their owners tell them that a visitor is a welcome guest rather than an intruder that must be driven away since the breed's protective instincts are so strong. This breed needs a self-assured owner who can be firm yet fair. We do know that the Tibetan Mastiff is an ancient breed that's existed in Central Asia for many, many centuries. The Tibetan Mastiff was the first breed to be imported to the West from Tibet. When one was transported to England in 1847 and entered into the Kennel Club's first stud book. More than a century later, in the 1950s, the breed made its way to the United States. However, since that time, they may have been banned in some U.S. cities as well as France, Germany, Malaysia, Australia, Ukraine, and Belarus, among others. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or the centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Presa Canario Given how scarce the Presa Canario is, it's surprising that insurance firms in half the United States have bans on it. The Canary Islands, off the coast of Spain, are home to these dogs. Since at least 1501, when the breed's earliest records were created, they've been used to guard livestock and have large, muscular bodies to perform their work. They're tough because, in addition to being livestock dogs, they were also used in dogfights on the islands. In the 1940s, Spain's Franco-led government launched a campaign against dogfighting and enacted strict legislation forbidding it, which led to a decline in the breeding of Pressus. Before the breed ever became well known in the United States, a single incident of two Pressus killing a person in the country caused a media frenzy over the species. As a result, legislation was swiftly passed to prohibit the breed. In this case, two Pressus were being looked after by a married couple of lawyers, whose client was serving three life sentences for being a high-ranking member of the Aryan Brotherhood, assaulting and killing a young lacrosse player in her own San Francisco apartment complex. The female attorney was accused of murder in the case, which implied that the dogs themselves were not at fault, but rather the careless and dangerous people in charge of the animals, who had illegally trained the dog for fighting and then did nothing when it attacked the victim. Number 18. Rottweiler. This dog is quite wary around strangers. It moves quickly and with strength. You can train it to work as a police dog, scout, or courier. The Rottweiler is a multi-purpose combat dog breed favored by the military. This large dog is self-assured, prepared to work, and most importantly, dedicated. Because of this, Rottweilers made great choices for messenger dogs throughout both world wars. During a time when communication was far more challenging, soldiers relied on these amazing canines' steadfast devotion to their masters to traverse perilous and challenging terrain and provide intelligence. The Rottweiler is one of the oldest dog breeds under the FCI standard. you can go all the way back to the Roman Empire to find its beginnings. These canines were used as drivers and herders. With Roman legions accompanying them and driving their animals, they marched with the legions through the Alps. These dogs met and interacted with the local dogs of the Rottweil area in a natural crossover and the modern lineage was established. The Omen and other fictional movies and television series, as well as sensationalized news reports, have all portrayed Rottweilers as fearsome or vengefully violent dogs, which has contributed to the breed's bad reputation and sometimes they're banned. In any case, they're gorgeous dogs and one of the greatest breeds of all time. Number 17. The American Staffordshire Terrier 
The medium-sized American dog breed, known as the American Staffordshire Terrier, has a short coat and is often referred to as Amstaff or American Staffy. The American Kennel Club characterizes the breed as assured, clever, and good-natured. American Staffordshire Terriers are comparable to American Pit Bull Terriers, despite the fact that the American Kennel Club does not recognize the American Pit Bull Terrier. Several Bull and Terrier breeds originated in the British Isles, and they started migrating to America as early as 1850. Some dog breeds became well-known due to their dog-fighting prowess. These dogs, which were already well-known as American canines, gave rise to a new breed, the American Pit Bull Terrier, which the United Kennel Club recognized in February of 1898. The Staffordshire Terrier's name was chosen to honor the breed's English heritage, namely Staffordshire country. On January 1, 1969, the breed's name was changed to American Staffordshire Terrier to set it apart from the British Staffordshire Bull Terrier, which had been recognized in England as a separate breed from the Bull-type Terrier family in 1935. The popularity of the breed in the U.S. started to decline after World War II. In 2018, the American Kennel Club ranked the American Staffordshire Terrier as the 85th most popular purebred breed in the United States. Across the globe, breed bands targeting pit bull-like dogs and or fighting dog breeds typically include the American Staffordshire Terrier. Breed-specific rules can range from outright bans on ownership to restrictions and requirements on ownership. Among other nations, breed-specific legislation has been approved in the United States, UK, Canada, Australia, and Ireland. The breed is regularly featured on lists of prohibited breeds for apartments in the United States. Nevertheless, because French people enjoy these dogs a lot, it's surprisingly the sixth most popular dog breed in France. Number 16. Staffordshire Bull Terrier The Staffordshire Bull Terrier, often known as the Staffy or Stafford, is a medium-sized, short-haired, purebred dog breed. Staffords come from Staffordshire, the county after which they were called, also known as the Black County. Dogfighting became a prohibited form of entertainment after the Cruelty to Animals Act of 1835 was approved by UK Parliament. Breeders moved away from the bulkier bulldogs and added terrier blood for gaminess and agility into their hybrids. The first bull and terriers were created by crossing bulldogs with terriers. Due to their shared early 1800s forebearers, when pit fighting was a well-liked pastime, modern Staffords are sometimes mistaken for fighting pit bull types. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals lobbied the British Parliament in 2018 to add the Staffordshire Bull Terrier to the Dangerous Dogs Act of 1991's list of prohibited dog breeds. This would have been the end of the breed in the UK. However, this idea was opposed by the KC, Dogs Trust, Blue Cross, and the Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, in addition to the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. The motion was rejected by Parliament, which is great news for these amazing pups. Aren't PETA supposed to be helping animals, not trying to ban them? Anyway, Pitbull subtypes, such as Staffordshire Bull Terriers, have made local headlines throughout the world for their occasional aggressive behavior. Yet there are many reasons to doubt media hype and the accuracy of visual breed identification. Number 15. Brazilian Mastiff, Fila Brasileiro. The Brazilian Mastiff, sometimes referred to as the Fila Brasileiro, is a large working dog with Brazilian roots. It's well known for its superior tracking skills, ferocity, and vicious, impulsive attitude. Instead of engaging in combat with its prey, the Fila catches it and waits for its hunter's arrival. Due to these qualities, the Filo is used as a guard dog, a cow dog for cattle, and a hunting dog for locating and controlling large game. While slavery was legal in Brazil for the 18th century, the Filo was used to bring runaway slaves back to their owners. With little to no influence from the native South American dogs from the pre-colonial era, the Fila is said to be derived from European dogs brought to Brazil during the colonial era. Large plantations and cattle ranches were the original homes of the Fila, where they were bred. Without a court order, it's against the law to own any of these canines in Fiji, the UK, Cyprus, Norway, and Malta. In the Australian states of Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, and Western Australia, the Fila breed is either restricted or outlawed. Imports are also prohibited. They're automatically classified as dangerous dogs in Trinidad and Tobago and New Zealand, where they can't be imported and the males must be neutered. Poor dudes. Number 14. Tosa. Japanese dog breeds like the Tosa are regarded as rare. It's the only breed that's now used in legally sanctioned Japanese dog fighting, having been bred as a fighting dog in Tosa, Shikoku. In certain countries, ownership of this breed is outlawed due to its danger. The Tosa comes in a variety of sizes, with Japanese bred puppies being around 50% smaller than those grown overseas. These dogs can occasionally weigh up to 200 pounds. 
They're even depicted in wrestling gear and said to be on par with sumo wrestlers in Japan. The breed's progenitor was the Shikoku Inu. These dogs were crossed in 1876 with the Old English Bulldog, Bull Terrier, English Mastiff, St. Bernard, and German Pointer. Then in 1924 with the Great Dane. The objective was to breed a larger, more powerful dog that could participate in dog fighting competitions in Japan. Tosa breeding reached its zenith between 1924 and 1933, where there were more than 5,000 Tosa breeders in Japan. The possession of Tosas is forbidden in several places. In Trinidad and Tobago, ownership is governed by the Dog Control Act. In the United Kingdom, ownership is governed by the Dangerous Dogs Act. In order to legally possess and import Tosas into the UK, a British court must grant a specific exception. Number 13. Doggo Argentino when it comes to hunting dogs, the Doggo Argentino is one of the best. This brand new breed was created in 1928 from some of the strongest, largest, and most powerful hunting dogs. This dog's hunting was more extensive than just pursuing birds and deer. This breed was developed to hunt large creatures like wild boar and mountain lions. The Doggo Argentino was really created to hunt large animals in packs with other canines. That's why this dog is prohibited in the majority of nations. The Doggo Argentino, on the other hand, was created to be a loyal family pet. They're known for sticking close to their tribe and standing up for it when necessary. This breed is an amazing companion dog and security dog. Because of their unshakable loyalty and desire to protect their family, they're great guard dogs. Their responsibility is to watch their house and their loved ones. Teaching them the distinction between a guest and a trespasser is the most challenging aspect of raising them as guard dogs. But no matter how good a guard dog they are, the Doggo Argentino is a great choice for your family. Number 12. Pitbull Terrier. Blood sports, in which animals are allowed to fight to the death for amusement, were formerly quite popular all over the world. People from the past were just insane. Due to the prevalence of dog fights, certain breeds were created to have the finest fighting prowess and potential, with the pit bull being the strongest fighting canine. The majority of fighting dogs being bred now have characteristics that make them more suited for employment as working or security dogs in the home. On the other hand, some people now force modern day pit bulls to engage in unlawful combat since they have a history of being used as fighting dogs. Although the validity is questionable, it's long been believed that black pit bulls are more aggressive than white ones due to their genetic makeup. Due to a few high-profile incidents, pit bulls have been outlawed in several nations, despite the fact that many of these dogs live contented lives with their owners and never cause any issues. While pit bulls are extremely powerful and very strong fighters, they're mostly known in loving homes for being amazing nannies and big lovers. Number 11. American Bully the American Bully is a dog breed that originated in the United States from American Pit Bull Terriers, American Staffordshire Terriers, as well as certain Bulldog-like breeds. It's a medium-sized dog that stands between 16 and 20 inches tall and weighs between 30 and 65 pounds. The American Bully is not merely another breed of Pit Bull, despite this being one of the most common misconceptions about it. Even though American Bullies are related to Pit Bulls, they've undergone so many Bully breeding crosses that they're now considered separate breeds with their own set of standards. The cost of American bullies is undoubtedly something you're curious about, and the truth is that bully puppies are expensive. Bully puppies range in price from $2,000 to $7,000 on average, depending on whether you want one as a pet, for breeding, or for exhibition. Outstanding adult dogs with a history of siring outstanding puppies may fetch substantially higher prices. For instance, a dog by the name of White Rhino once fetched $250,000. American bullies are endearing clowns that look like tough guys. However, if you're simply looking for a good family friend, you can certainly find some American Bulldog puppies for less money, especially if they have traits that are undesirable for breeding or displaying. Number 10. The Doberman Pinscher. The Doberman is a more specialized dog than some of the others on this list. It was named after a guy who first bred the dogs in Germany in the 1890s. These incredibly intelligent, alert, and loyal dogs are also quite athletic, and it's this final quality that gives them their primary role in police forces across the world. The Doberman is good at locating fugitive criminals and biting their arms to bring them to the ground, despite also being used as sniffer dogs. In their primary role as a guard dog, the notable powerful stature and black coat were intended to be menacing to potential intruders. Doberman Pinschers have been bred to have calmer temperaments recently, making them considerably more acceptable as pets than when they were almost exclusively bred as guard dogs or working dogs. Early Dobermans were noted for their wild aggressiveness and nasty temperaments. 
Following their adoption as the U.S. Marine Corps' official canine during World War II, they've developed into the 12th most popular dog in the world, appearing in a number of movies and television shows. Number 9. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog a domestic dog and a wolf can mate to produce a dog known as a wolf dog. The most common wolf dogs are crossbred between domestic dogs and other subspecies of gray wolves, since dogs and gray wolves are recognized to be the same species, share a significant portion of their habitats, and have genetically been closely related for a millennia. Numerous populations in Europe and North America have experienced mixing in the wild, mainly in regions where wolf populations have declined as a result of human interference and persecution. According to a 1982 study, several dog skulls found in Wyoming dating back 10,000 years fit the morphology of wolf dogs. The remains of wolf dogs were found in Warrior's Burial in Mexico's Central Valley in 2010, which led archaeologists to re-examine what had previously been thought to be coyotes shown in Tiahuacan art. In general, wolf dogs are seen to be naturally healthy dogs with fewer inherited diseases than many other dog breeds. Breeders of wolf dogs and other wolf dog supporters have stated recently that aggressive tendencies are a natural part of wolf dog temperament. Number 8. Chow Chows About 20 U.S. states have outlawed or made it illegal to own a chow chow. These large teddy bear dogs have a reputation for being cranky, and if improperly taught, they may become aggressive. But it's easy to train and maintain your chow chow's good manners. Additionally, they're natural hunters, which is harmful for the rat and cat populations in the area. Chow chows can overcome their tendency for hyper-protection if socialized often and early enough. This is a very old breed that was originally employed in northern China as a combat dog. It was first bred about 3,000 years ago. The Chow Chow has been compared to a lion by some, and because they do have cat-like minds, the comparison may be valid. Perhaps the physical trait that best distinguishes the breed is his blue-black tongue. Chinese folklore claims that the Chow's blue tongue came from eating blue paint drops when the sky was being painted. Number 7. German Shepherds Dogs of the German Shepherd breed originated in Germany, as you may have already surmised. Many people will know this dog from its day job as a police dog. As a successful narc at airports and other places where narcotics are trafficked, its brains, size, and intimidating looks have all contributed to its success. Although they may look intimidating, they're actually beautiful dogs who like spending time with people and learning new skills. These dogs demand a loyal owner who will provide enough fun and walks to keep them happy due to their intelligence. They will defend your property to the death if necessary, since they're courageous and devoted to their masters. If abused or neglected, this dog, like many others of its size, may become irritable and dangerous. It's thus best suited to have an active owner with plenty of dog training expertise. Who's the German Shepherd's main prey? Criminals, of course. The success of these canines in apprehending criminals and preventing break-ins is well known across the world. Number 6. The Boer Bulldogs Mastiff-type Boer Bulls, native to South Africa, are commonly kept as family guard dogs. Strong bones and well-developed muscles give it a blocky, angular head. The distance between the stop and the nose is small. Many countries restrict this dog, including Romania, where imports were banned in 2002 and ownership was restricted to those with a court permit. In Denmark, the breed was banned in 2010. In Russia, it was designated as an especially dangerous breed in 2011 and required mandatory registration and certification. In Ukraine, it was classified as a dangerous dog and required mandatory microchipping, muzzle, and civil liability insurance. It's also banned in France, Mauritius, and Qatar. Importing is restricted in the Faroe Islands, Singapore, Tunisia, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. As a guard dog on farms and estates and large game hunting, the Boer Bell is a descendant of old colonial crossbreeds of mastiffs and bulldogs. Number 5. Band Dogs the origins of the Bandoge, or American Bandog Mastiff, remains a mystery. However, it's widely accepted that the breed originated in Middle England between 1250 and 1300. In addition to the American Pit Bull Terrier and Napoleon Mastiff, the Bandog's ancestors might also include early Bull and Basers and crossbreeds employed by the Crusades. When not being used as a working dog, the Bandog was kept chained during the day and set loose at night to guard the family's property. There are many different stock breeds that have given rise to today's band dog. This explains why the band dog exhibits such a wide range of features. Thus, the band dog's appearance varies significantly due to the lack of a single breed standard for the dog. 
Some common characteristics include a strong and stocky body, erect triangular ears, a broad cranium and nose, and powerful limbs. The ancient band dog, bred for strength, endurance, self-assurance, and bravery, is a fearsome and independent dog that requires early and constant socialization and obedience training. Number 4. The Neapolitan Mastiff the Neapolitan Mastiff, also known as the Mastino Napolitino, is a large Italian dog breed that originated from Naples. Central Italian guard dogs are its ancestors. The breed's closest cousin is the Cane Corso. When Piero Scanziani saw a specimen at a Naples event in 1946, he decided to start breeding the species. In 1949, he produced the first accepted standard. The Neapolitan Mastiff is a large and powerful dog, weighing in at anything from 110 to 150 pounds. There's a 15% difference between the height and the length of the body. There's a lot of loose skin, especially on the skull, which droops down into deep crannies. Although mahogany, fawn, fulvus, hazelnut, dove gray, and isabelline coats are acceptable, it's preferable if the dog has a black, gray, or laden coat. The paws and chest may have little white marks if the coat is brindled. A Napoleon Mastiff's life expectancy ranges from 8 to 10 years. A recent survey in the United Kingdom found that the average lifespan is 7 years, with 16% of dogs living above the age of 9. Napoleon Mastiffs Mastiffs are known for their kind disposition. Mastiffs, on the other hand, may be harmful to little children because of their big size. They don't always know their own strength, even if they just want to play. Mastiffs that haven't been properly taught or are afflicted with mental illness can be a danger to their owners and others. The breed has been banned in Singapore and a few American states. Certain nations require that this dog be psychiatrically examined before they may be adopted or purchased. Number 3. Alaskan Malamutes one of the oldest dog breeds is the Malamute, which has a long and storied history. Native Americans in North America kept Alaskan Malamutes as pets and working dogs more than 5,000 years ago. Alaskan Malamutes are related to the Samoyan, the Siberian Husky, and the Labrador Retriever. They seldom bark, but when they do, they create a lot of noise and enjoy a good wail as a form of vocal training. Built to withstand extreme cold, they were initially used on Arctic expeditions. Their bear hunting, tracking, and observation skills came in handy for the early settlers. To a large extent, they're recognized for their contributions to the colonialization and development of Alaska. 450 Alaskan Malamutes were dispatched to France during World War I to provide supplies to French troops stationed in mountain outposts. They were used to great effect. During the gold rush, hopeful prospectors used these dogs to transport vast amounts of food and supplies via mountain routes, making them quite popular. Search and rescue efforts were also performed by Alaskan Malamutes during World War II. Number 2. Perro de Presa Mallorcan Dogs like the Perro de Presa Mallorcan require an owner that's capable of communicating with and training them. With proper training, the Perro de Presa Mallorcan may become a well-behaved dog that's well-liked by its owners and loved by everyone it meets. It's vital to work with experienced trainers. Mediterranean sailing has always been a means of cultural and scientific interaction between nations. In addition to allowing for the trade of commercial goods, these reciprocal ties allowed for the interchange of domestic animals. To ward off pirates and thieves who arrived by seas, watch and guard dogs were an essential part of coastal communities and harbors across the world. Throughout Spain's history, the Iberian Mastiff has served as both a hunting dog and a fighting dog against bulls and other canines. When King Jacob I conquered the Balearic Islands in 1230, he brought this breed with him. Following the Treaty of Utrecht, the British gained control of Minorca and other islands in the 17th century. Balearic Island Mastiffs were crossed with British fighting and guard dogs, introduced to the islands by British settlers, who also imported their own Mastiffs from the Iberian Peninsula. Bull baiting was a popular sport in the early 18th century, and the British residents of the island sought for a canine breed capable of taking on bulls. Number 1. Bloodhound Bloodhounds have a great sense of smell that makes them ideal sniffers for both humans and drugs. They're naturally interested, amiable, and self-reliant. Since 1805, bloodhounds have been used by police enforcement to track down criminals and poachers, according to the American Kennel Club. Dogs have the ability to construct mental images of what they've smelled, making it easier for them to recognize one scent from another. 
The trailing bloodhound, embodied by the famous bloodhound named Nick Carter, may serve as inspiration for a slew of bloodhound-related myths. G.V. Mulliken of Lexington, Kentucky, was the owner of Nick Carter and was responsible for 650 discoveries, including one that required him to trace a scent back that was 12 days old. When it comes to its origins, the bloodhound has always been regarded as an English or Anglo-Scottish dog of uncertain origins. However, drooping ears and lips can be seen in medieval hunting art, although they lack the distinguishing traits of the bloodhound. Should we ban these dogs or should we ban bad dog owners? Which is your favorite breed of dog? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff that's showing up on screen right now. See you next time.